Oh, uh, yes. An arc goes five, and an arc goes five. Now, they're both long, and an arc goes five. What the hell is the difference? Well, this one's running Android. It's 160 gigs. It's like a resistive touchscreen. 800 by 480, 800 by 480, 8800 megahertz processor, 256 megs of RAM, 8800 megs, 128 RAM, 4.8 inch, 4.8 inch screen on both, 120 gigs, 160 gigs. Those are the biggest differences between them. One can install applications, one cannot. Um, this particular model, I would recommend for someone who likes web content and being able to access it, but it's not the primary means of getting content. The Arcos 5 with Android, this is like a 60-40, 50-50 split. There are lots and lots of applications in AppLibs, which is the default market that you can get web content. There's Deezer, there's various other app libs that you can get a lot of web content from. Um, iRadio, there are available ROMs if you root this particular device. Um, the ROMs are not stable. They're stable to an extent, but they expect bugs if you root this device. Now, if you root this device, the, t the file permissions are only temporary. They're not permanent. At least in the searching around for rooting this device that I have looked at. Um, so the biggest difference is, to me, build quality. Um, this is out and out metal. This is like solidly constructed. The kickstand is doesn't feel plastic at all. Good heavy weight. This this feels very plasticky and it's lighter but it also doesn't have the same build quality um, that, say, this does. To me, this is something I would use as my MP3 player hookup in my vehicle. Uh, this, this is something I use more for work. Uh, the biggest reason I got this, other than the Android experience um, and various other factors, was Bluetooth. You can pair this with a pair of Bluetooth headset um, and stream your audio that way. And that essentially is what I use the blue this device for is when I'm at work. Um, it lets me kind of zone off into my own space and do what I need to at work. So do not go into this expecting a Android 2.0 experience. This is very much an Android 1.6 experience. Um, that being said, if you go into it thinking that, then you realize that the experience is actually pretty much Android. There are, you know, there's custom, a couple custom launchers and a few other things, but overall, it's very much Android. Um, you can crack it, break it, do what you pretty much want to it. But overall, if you tinker, get this. If you don't tinker, get this. These are cheaper. They feel better, really, a lot better construction build to them. They're heavier, but that's because of the construction build is better. Now, there are a few cons to it, the you know, proprietary bullshit that they do. But at least with this, this can be charged over USB, takes longer, um, and a few other things. But overall, I'm happy with the purchase I made for this. I spent about 200 on this. I spent about a buck fifty on this. Um, both fill different needs so if you consume a 50-50 split or possibly even more on an internet side get the Arc OS 5 with Android if not get yourself a decent hard drive based mp3 player slash PMP with this model um, that's my recommendation for you guys, but what you guys do is up to you, obviously. I just present you the facts. So you guys know what to do. Rate it, subscribe it.